Chapter 380-382 The evening of next day. Knock. Knock. The door was opened by Yui, who is it? Hmm, a a re, it's Kakashi-san, it has been a while, how have you been? Kakashi nodded lightly, fine, thanks for asking. Is Kuroto at home? Yui nodded with a cheerful smile, of course, he is, come on in, Kuroto Kuen is in his study. Kakashi nodded, and after wearing house slippers given to him by Yui, he went to the upper floor where Kuroto's study is located. Kuroto had of course noticed Kakashi's arrival, and made sure that nothing he does not want to show to Kakashi was out in the open. After welcoming Kakashi to his study, Kuroto folded the scroll he was studying, then said, I heard that you have been extremely busy these days Kakashi. Kakashi nodded with a droopy expression. Compared to Guy who mostly has an energetic expression, Kakashi always looks downcast. Although Kakashi nodded, he did not touch the matter of tactical division or anything even remotely related to it. Neither did Kuroto ask. After a while of casual discussion, Kuroto asked, How is your condition now Kakashi? During the raid, Itachi had used Tsukukami on Kakashi to neutralize him, but Itachi also made sure to not torture Kakashi too much, just enough to stop Kakashi from interfering. Kakashi was silent upon hearing Kuroto's question, then after a while he said, Tsunade-sama has returned to the village, she helped in curing the psychological damage, although the damage done to me was not that serious, it could have been worse, if Homosubi truly wanted to kill me, he could have killed me with little ease, the genjutsu he used had no counter. Kuroto nodded, even in the Naruto plot, it was Senju Tsunade who healed the psychological damage done to Kakashi and Sasuke by the use of Tsukuyami. As for the matter of there being no counter to Itachi's Tsukuyami, it is debatable. During the battle between brothers, Uchiha Sasuke managed to break free of Itachi's Tsukuyami. Itachi had once stated that only someone with Sharingan and Kekiai Genkai can break free of Tsukuyami, but is that really true? Kuroto doesn't think that's true. The only reason Sasuke managed to break free of Tsukuyami was that Itachi never had any intention of killing Sasuke. Moreover, Abido also said to Sasuke that if Itachi had truly wanted to kill him, then he would have been dead by now. Therefore, just having Sharingan and Kekiai Genkai is not enough to break free of Tsukuyami. But it's not that it cannot be broken free. Perhaps with Kotoam at Tsukumi, it is possible to break free of Tsukuyami. After all, ultimately Tsukuyami is a genjutsu, and a genjutsu can be overwritten or reflected by another genjutsu, the other genjutsu needs to be strong enough and Koto Amatsukami is in fact strong enough. There are also other methods, a perfect jinchuriki might also be able to break free of Tsukuyami, this is because the amount of churka a perfect jinchuriki has access to is way too much. And if the Tsukuyami plane is flushed with a very high amount of chakra, then it might indeed be possible to break free of Tsukuyami. Someone with much higher ocular power than the caster should also be able to break free of Tsukuyami. So, it is possible to break free of Tsukuyami, but there are a few various requirements for it, only someone who can fulfill those requirements can break free of Tsukuyami, others cannot, Kakashi cannot. But Kuroto doesn't care about that, what Kuroto cares about is the other news Kakashi gave him just now. That is, Tsunade-sama has returned, and hearing this news, Kuroto's eyes lit up. Tsunade-sama has returned, huh? Kuroto muttered. Kakashi nodded, the main reason for her return is the treatment of Elder Chio and Elder Ebizo, not many people are aware of her return, and there is also no guarantee if she will stay in the village for long enough, or will she leave again. Kuroto said, since she has returned to Konoha, so I don't think that she will leave, moreover, it will be dangerous for her to stay out as she can be targeted by Akatsuki or Amatsukami, so I don't think that Hokage-sama will allow her to leave even if she wants to. Her return was obviously inevitable, under Hokage-sama's order, she has to comply. Now what Kuroto cares about is how to persuade Tsunade into taking Yui as a disciple. There are countless talented shinobi who want to be trained by a sanin, but not everyone has that advantage. Especially in the case of Senju Tsunade because of her trauma. Tsunade has only ever accepted Shizen as her apprentice, and that too because of her being Dan Kato's niece. If not for that, then there are chances that even Shizen might not have been accepted as a disciple. If I remember correctly Tsunade-sama advocated the inclusion of Irionin in all four man shinobi squads after her Otudo Senju Nawaki's death. Although Sandame-sama agreed with her, he couldn't dedicate resources for this purpose, 
the situation is still the same, so what happens if Hyuga clan were to support her in this matter? Kanoha needs Irionin now more than ever, and if in such a situation Hyuga clan supports her, then I don't think she would refuse to take Yui as a disciple, and this will also increase Hyuga clan's influence in Kanoha, at least, Tsunade-sama will support the Hyuga clan. This was Kuroto's thought. And if even this approach doesn't work, there is always the option of gambling. Against someone being called the legendary sucker, Kuroto has 100% confidence that he can win the gamble. There is also the approach of bribing her, despite being filthy rich, I don't believe she will be able to refuse the temptation of millions of Rio in hard cash, because, for a gambling addict who always loses, there is always a shortage of money no matter how rich she might have been born. Money has always been against the legendary sucker. Kuroto even wonders if the reason why Tsunade decided to return to the village is because of the countless debts. At this time Kuroto asked, by the way where is Guy? Kakashi answered, Guy is on a mission to Kyuzagakure. Kuroto muttered with a frown, to Kyuzagakure? Kakashi nodded, ahem, Hokage-sama has sent two shinobi teams, one to Kyuzagakure and the other one to Takigakure. The reason for sending the team to Takigakure is to warn their village about Akatsuki's intention of capturing all bijou, as well as forming an alliance with Takigakure. Kuroto nodded, this is a natural thing to do, then questioned, and what about Kyuzagakure? At the mention of Kyuzagakure, Kuroto's face sank, according to the secret intel we have received, Kyuzagakure has been divided into two factions, and the situation has become rather tense. Among them, one of the factions wants to cooperate with Akatsuki organization to subvert the five great shinobi villages to eventually rule over the shinobi world, while the other faction is in opposition to this, but the second faction has been unable to suppress the radical faction. Thus they have asked for support from Kanoha and wants to establish an alliance with us to resist the Akatsuki and their radical faction. So Guy is leading the mission to support the moderate faction and capture or eliminate the radical faction? Kuroto asked. Kakashi shook his head and said, that was the mission initially, the recent intel is that the rebel faction has completely disappeared, as if not even a single trace was left of them. The leaders of Kyuzagakure think that the radical faction has been secretly planning something big for a very long time, as for what that something exactly is, it is yet to be known. And since the radical faction has disappeared therefore no clue of them is left. So Guy's mission now is to figure that something out if he can else complete the matter of alliance and escort the representatives of Kyuzagakure to Kanoha for a discussion with Hokage-sama. Kuroto was silent upon hearing this news. The radicals of Kyuzagakure wants to subvert the current pattern of shinobi world and want to rule over it, huh? And they have the confidence to be able to cooperate with the Akatsuki organization? There could only be one thing that can give them enough confidence. And it has to be Box of Ultimate Bliss. Box of Ultimate Bliss is a mystery, even in the Naruto canon, there was not much information about it, the only thing that is known was that the Box of Ultimate Bliss can grant any and all wish of the caster but it was later confirmed that this was just a myth. In reality, the box simply corrupts whatever enters within its confines. It was said that the box of ultimate bliss has such powers that it once allowed its previous users to take over the entire world during the era of Rakuto Sanin. Aside from that, who is its creator? How it came to be? What exactly is that thing? Why was it created? How was it created? Etc. is unknown. It requires an immense amount of chakra to open the box and once opened, a monster comes out of it that is very difficult to defeat as even Uzumaki Naruto while using Senin mode, along with the rest of Konoha, Eleven, Godame, Yamato, and others with their power were unable to defeat the monster named Satori. Since the box of ultimate bliss requires a very large amount of chakra therefore, sources of obtaining such large chakra are very limited, bijus are the best source. Kyuzagakure doesn't have a bijou in their village, but Akatsuki does, then have Nibi in their hands. But can Kyuzagakure really control the monster Satori? Kuroto doesn't think that they can. The past users may have been able to control the monster Satori, but Kyuzagakure shouldn't be able to. In fact, they did not even know what the box of ultimate bliss truly was, much less control it. Kuroto sighed, it's going to be troublesome, Akatsuki alone is too much, now others are working with them. I have a lot of work to do. After some more discussion about various topics, Kakashi left. At night. 
Yui, what do you think about learning Iryo ninjutsu from Tsunade-sama? Kuroto suddenly questioned Yui. What? But Tsunade-sama is not in Konoha, so how will she teach me Iryo ninjutsu? Yui asked in confusion. Kuroto said, oh about that, Kakashi informed me that Tsunade-sama has returned to Konoha. What? Is that really true? Yui was surprised, the return of Tsunadeheim means a very big thing. Kuroto nodded, ahem, she has returned, tell me what do you think? Yui hurriedly said, of course, I would love to, is that even a question? But will she even accept an apprentice? Is there a single Kunoichi in Konoha who doesn't idolize Sanin Tsunadeheim? Who wouldn't want to learn from her? Kuroto said with a smile, don't worry, she will accept you. Yui asked with a frown, what gives you so much confidence Kuroto-kun? Kuroto said, I will have a talk with Hayashi-sama, it should work out. Besides the village is in need of better shinobi and kunoichi. So Tsunade-sama shouldn't refuse without any good reason. Yui mumbled, if you say so. The next day early morning, Kuroto was summoned to the Hokage office. Knock knock. Come in. An elderly tired voice came from the other side of the door. Hyuga Kuroto, code name, Eagle, a former member of the now disbanded team, Eleven has come as per the notice. Kuroto said with a bow. Ah. Hyuga Kuroto you have come good. I will keep it short so do pay attention. As you are already aware many things have changed in the last week. For your duties and excellent performance in the recent events, and keeping in mind your record for the past few years, it has been decided that you are to be promoted from an Umbu member to an Umbu commander. You will take charge of a newly created Umbu team called Team Ro. Your team members have arrived and are currently waiting at Umbu training field, R3. Your team consists of five members with you as the commander. One of them is a new recruit in Umbu, but there is nothing to worry about, he is quite the capable one, so I don't think you will have any complaint about him. Get acquainted with the team as soon as possible, soon you will have a mission to set out on. Sandame said to Hyuga Kuroto. Yes, Hokage-sama, Kuroto nodded, it wasn't surprising that he would be sent out on a mission soon. Let's focus on the team for now. I do hope they are not some weak some bunch. Kuroto thought. Sandame continued, here, this will be your new mask, your identity is already known to Akatsuki, so some necessary precautions have to be taken. From now on your identity is no longer eagle. Kuroto again nodded and after removing his current eagle umbu mask he passed it on to Sandame, then wore a dragon-shaped mask. Sandame-sama said, you can choose the new code name for yourself. Kuroto thought about it a little, then said, Watatsumi. I would prefer the code name, Watatsumi. Sandame raised his eyebrow at the mention of the term Watatsumi, and questioned, e any specific reason? Kuroto nodded and said, when a snake evolves it takes the form of a dragon, that is what I wish to be Hokage-sama. Hmm. Is that so? Sandame was a little taken aback by Hyuga Kuroto's mention of such a thing, but after a while of consideration a smile appeared on his lips and he nodded, so be it. Kuroto bowed to Sandame gratefully, then Sandame said while passing on two scrolls to him, take these two scrolls with you. One of them is the scroll of the A-rank Jetsu, Rasengan that you had wished to learn, while the other one records the information of the four Umbu who will be under your command. Kuroto nodded, and after taking the two scrolls, he said to Sandame, thank you for your kindness Hokage-sama. Sandame then took out another scroll and said, and this one too, this scroll records all the details of the first mission team, Ro will be performing. As you had suspected back then Kirigakure was indeed involved with Akatsuki, we have confirmed this, and several new changes are happening in Kirigakure. Team Ro will set off to Kirigakure as soon as possible. Kuroto had long expected that the most likely place where his mission would be assigned will either be Kirigakure or perhaps Awagakure. After all, Kirigakure is as much of a dangerous village as the former Amigakure, so it's not strange that Hokage-sama needs a master infiltrator. But it's not that easy. Kuroto said tentatively, Hokage-sama, the team is new, I need to get familiar with the members and devise a few strategies that we will be working upon. And since there is also a fresh Umbu member in the team, therefore, he needs to be made familiar with all the things. Sandame sighed, I am afraid I can't give you much time. Two days at most. 
Complete all the preparations within these two days and set off as soon as possible. Yes, Hokage-sama, two days should be enough. Kuroto nodded. Sandame nodded with an amiable smile and said, Good luck, I expect good things from you and Team Ro. Yes, Hokage-sama, I will not let you down. After speaking so, Kuroto turned and left the Hokage office. After Kuroto had gone, Sandame kept looking at the place where Hyuga Kuroto was kneeling and muttered, A dragon, huh? So you intend to surpass your master. I do hope that you will not make me regret this decision of mine, Hyuga Kuroto. On Kuroto's side, after having left the Hokage office, Eagle, now Watatsumi, was on his way to the Umbu training field, R3. As soon as Kuroto was closing to the place, Kuroto frowned as he noticed a figure he did not want to see in the umbu, not to mention in the same team as him. I guess I need some answers. I don't think he would have joined umbu without a good reason. Moreover, what is she doing in the umbu, she shouldn't have been part of the umbu either. Suppressing his thoughts for later, Kuroto finally arrived before the team. His arrival was also noticed by four shinobi, each of whom was wearing an umbu mask over their face. Two of them are females while the other two are males. After landing on a tree, Watatsumi said to the four, I am the Umbu commander of Team Ro, let's start with your Umbu code names, the one sitting on the boulder, the Kunoichi with the black mask, let's start with you and follow a clockwise pattern. The Kunoichi nodded and introduced, Iumbu code, Akame, reporting at duty. The next one nodded and introduced himself, Iumbu code, Rabbit, reporting at duty. The third one nodded and introduced Iambu Code, Hannah reporting at duty. The last one also nodded and introduced Iambu Code, Weasel reporting at duty. One by one, all four of them introduced themselves and took off their masks while quietly looking at their Umbu commander. Because Kuroto is also dressed in Umbu gear and because his mask has been changed, therefore, the four only knew that the person standing on top of the tree is their Umbu commander, neither of the four is yet aware of the true identity of their commander. With an amused expression, Kuroto took off his mask and said, Tokubetsu Jonin, Hyuga Kuroto, Umbu Code, Watatsumi. Commander of Team Ro, pleased to make your acquaintances. Kuroto-kun. Akame was taken aback, she did not expect her umbu commander to be Hyuga Kuroto, a person she had known for quite a few years now. Rabbit and Hannah were also a little surprised, but because they are of a younger generation than Kuroto, they remained calm. While Weasel sighed, the person Danzo-sama ordered me to keep an eye on turned out to be Kuroto-san, I haven't even told him about this yet. Kuroto said to Akame, I am surprised that you had joined the Umbu, but I suppose it doesn't matter, from now on I will be commander of the four of you. I expect all four of you to follow my commands unconditionally, is that clear? The four nodded together. The rules of the Umbu division are far more strict than anywhere, while on a mission, the commander is even allowed to execute a member should his order be violated by any member of the team. With his main point made clear, Kuroto said with a smile, No need to be so serious for now, let us further introduce ourselves, the area we specialize in, our abilities, and the things we like and dislike, let's start with Akame again. Akame nodded, and after taking off her mask, she said, Name, Yuhi Karinai Shinobi Rank, Tokubetsu Jonin, I can perceive chakra, somewhat good at taijutsu, and ninjutsu, whereas my master and main form of combat style lies in genjutsu. Perhaps it was because of being defeated by Kuroto in the past. Kurinai's confidence at the mention of her specialty being Genjutsu dropped and her voice became as low as a mosquito. If not for the fact that the four people being trained shinobis, none of them might have been able to hear what Kurinai was saying. Kurinai may have been defeated pretty badly at that time, but her strength is still a jonin class in the canon, so she is a good addition to the team, all she needs is a wider vision, as well as high pressure to stimulate her growth potential, and perhaps she will be able to surpass her canon version. Kuroto questioned, no likes and dislikes? Kurinai lifted her head and said lightly, I like sake, and I hate a certain someone I don't want to mention. All right, don't mention if you don't want to. Kuroto nodded towards Kurinai then looked at Rabbit. After taking off his mask, Rabbit stepped forward and said, Name, Gekko Kof Asterisk Hate, Shinobi Rank, Tokubetsu Jonin, I excel in tracking and stealth, Kof Kof Asterisk, I specialize in Kenjutsu and Taijutsu, I am also capable of using, Totan Jutsu, Transparent Escape Technique. 
My likes, Haight looked at Hannah while speaking of his likes, then said, I don't have anything I dislike. Rabbit or perhaps Haight introduced himself amidst his usual coughs. At this moment Hannah said with a worried expression, Didn't you take the medicine just about an hour ago? Is your condition? However, Haight shook his head and said, Ay, I am fine. After a bit of thinking, Kuroto said to Haight, Tsunade-sama has returned to the village, let her check your body Haight Kuen. Maybe she can find a solution to your chronic illness, I do understand that you are a technique type, but for a shinobi, especially for those who excel in taijutsu and kenjutsu, body condition needs to be optimum if they want to display their peak combat power. Haight nodded politely, understood Captain. After that, Kuroto turned towards Hannah and said, It's your turn next. Hannah nodded, and after taking off her mask, she said, Name, Yuzuki Yugao Shinobi Rank, Tokubetsu Jonin, I have some bit of knowledge of Fuinjutsu, and Iryo Ninjutsu, I am also a sensor nin, my main ability lies in Kenjutsu. I like Kenjutsu, pleased to meet you, Captain. Kuroto nodded toward Yugao, and then finally turned towards Weasel, and said, You are the last one left. Weasel nodded, and took off his mask, then said, Name, Achiha Itachi Shinobi Rank. Chunin, I am average at Taijutsu, Ninjutsu, Genjutsu, Shurikenjutsu, Kenjutsu, and Fuinjutsu. I love Dango and peace, and I don't like wars, please take care of me, Captain Senpais. Ever the modest one, or perhaps I should say careful one, isn't he? Kuroto thought about Itachi's introduction. Now that the introduction part was over, Kuroto thought about the composition of his team, Kurinai, Hate, Yugao, Itachi, and finally me. I must say this team is quite a capable one indeed, this also means that the first mission that is going to be assigned to us will be a very big deal. Well, I am certain that as long as it's not a prime member of Akatsuki, Nagato and Abito, there is hardly anyone in the shinobi world I can't defeat slash kill, so there is not much I need to worry about. But I suppose I must enhance their skills so that I personally do not have to be part of all the missions. And perhaps I should be grateful that Itachi is also part of the team, at least, I can leave him in charge of the duties unless it's a very difficult mission. While Kuroto was busy in some thoughts, Kurinai spoke, Kuroto Kuen. I want to ask something if that's all right. Kuroto said, refer to me as captain, and as for the matter question, ask whatever you want, although I am not guaranteeing that I will answer your question. If I don't want to, then I will not, is that acceptable? Kurinai pouted, but spoke nonetheless, All right, Captain Kuen, I wanted to know if the Akatsuki organization is really as strong as they say. Kuroto sighed, If I am being honest Kurinai, much of the information about Akatsuki was not announced publicly even at the Jonin Council, that organization is way too dangerous. This is not public information and is only known to a select few, but I want you all to know that only 10% of us, including Konoha, Suna, and Kumo, who went on the mission returned so the amount of danger should be much clear. Also, not even a single one of them was killed by Amitsukami, each died at the hands of an Akatsuki member. Kurinai did not know what to say and bent her downwards. She is no longer the child she used to be a few years ago, during the night of Kyuubi's attack. While Yugao Hei and Itachi were silent. I will say this only once and I want each of you to be very clear about it. If you were to encounter any Akatsuki member during a mission, then you will only choose either of two things, first is to run, do not fight, just run, because currently none of you is strong enough to be able to face any member of Akatsuki, second is suicide, if you feel that you would not be able to escape and are about to be caught, commit suicide. Blow yourself and make sure to destroy your brain as well as your body to not give out any intelligence, there is no third option, is that clear? Kuroto said with an extremely serious expression. Hey, Yugao and Kurinai gulped. They are shinobi and are willing to die while fighting for their village so it is not that strange to them but to be spoken in such a way, either run or commit suicide, with no third option, it feels horrible. On the other hand, Itachi did not have any change. After some more discussion, as well as appointing some tasks, Kuroto disbanded the team and ordered them to be present here tomorrow around the same time then he returned home. Coming home, Kuroto immediately unsealed the mission scroll given to him by Sandame sama Each village has some source of intelligence inside other villages, Kanoha is no different in this regard, so therefore, Kanoha had managed to obtain the information about the current situation of Kirigakure. And this intelligence indicates the surge of some undercurrents. 
Of the four elite shinobi of Kirigakure that Yande Mizukij sent to Amigekure, only one returned, and that is Hashigaki Kisame, while the rest including Suikazan Fuguki, Momochi Zabuza, as well as Yudatain, the Jinchuriki of Rokubi all disappeared. The disappearance of the Jinchuriki of Rokubi caused an uproar in Kirigakure, but Mizukij doesn't seem to care and did not do anything about the disappearance of the Jinchuriki of Rokubi, nor did he do anything to recover them, which again caused major dissatisfaction among the populace of Kirigakure. Kuroto side, it does seem as if the Yande Mizukij is being manipulated by Abito. The Kage of a village has become a puppet in the hands of others, this is the biggest shame for a shinobi village, after all, being manipulated by some is much worse than dying at their hands. Anyway, people of Kirigakure have begun to suspect that something is wrong with Kirigakure, and the intelligence recorded here shows that the flames of a coup d'etat are being lit in Kirigakure. Who will it be? Momochi Zabuza the demon of Kirigakure, or Turumi May the Godei Mizukij in the canon? At what point did Turumi May take the position of Mizukij? Kuroto doesn't remember this, but he does remember that Momochi Zabuza once launched coup d'etat that resulted in a failure, leaving him with no choice but to run away from Kirigakure and become a rogue and mercenary so that he can collect enough funds to launch another coup d'etat. 